Hi, this is Stefano from Mel365 and this video is about the differences between El Nido and Colón. What works better for you? You know, both sites are amazing. Uh, both locations are absolutely incredible. Uh, if you like nature, if you like beaches, if you like snorkeling, uh, you can reach basically a paradise from both Colón and El Nido. But they do have differences and this video is going to go through them. So let's get to number one, access to Colón and El Nido. Now, Colón, it's uh, easy to reach. Uh, the main reason is that there is an airport there, uh, which is about 20 minutes, 30 minutes from town, and there are plenty of flights going to Colón uh, from uh, three uh, airlines, which means competition, better prices. Uh, so Colón here wins, because to go to El Nido, uh, yes, you can fly directly to El Nido, but there is only a Swift that flies there, and it's an expensive option. Uh, what you have to do, you have to fly to Puerto Princesa, you have to take a bus from Puerto Princesa Airport to El Nido, and this bumpy ride, it takes about five to seven hours, so, you know, it, it takes more effort to go to El Nido for sure. You can actually see here on the right side a link to my experience of taking a van uh, to go from El Nido to Puerto Princesa. The second point, how touristy is El Nido versus Coron. Uh, definitely El Nido is more touristy. It has more infrastructure, it has more restaurants, hotels, uh, bars, um, also trendy uh, places to eat, I must say. I found, for example, Middle East restaurants, Thai restaurants, something that you hardly find in Coron. Coron has less options. This doesn't mean that it's worse, uh, it's just different. Um, so it's not as touristy. Uh, you may like it more because, you know, it's, there are more locals around or you may like it less because you prefer to go in a place where you meet other people traveling around the Philippines. Uh, point number three, I have a list actually here. You can see I wrote on a paper uh, because I don't want to forget anything. Activities. Um, activities. I think in El Nido you can get more. Uh, the reason is um, in both El Nido and Colón you can get um, tools, A, B, C, D, you count them. Um, that's typical, I guess, of all of the Pala one, that is always a tool A, tool B, tool C, tool D. And whatever agency you go, the tool A is gonna go always to the same places, tool B is always the same, and so on and so forth. Now, the difference between uh, Coron and the Nido is that in Coron you can take the boat and go to amazing places. I was really astonished by the islands, by the snorkeling, uh, by the little beaches, little coves, uh, the island hopping. I was absolutely gorgeous. Um, in the Nido you can do almost the same. Personally, I prefer Coron in that respect, but you know the difference is so tiny uh, that you can't say really the tools in El Nido are better than Coron or vice versa. Uh, the big difference, I think, is that from El Nido you can actually reach some uh, good beaches, of which Nakpan is one of the best rated beaches in uh, Asia Pacific. Um, and you take either a van to go there, or you take or you rent a scooter, and you can go there. It's about 12k if I remember well. Then there is another beach, which is Leo Beach. It's another swim, uh, swimmable beach. It's it's quite nice, and um, you know you can go with an easy day trip, half day trip. You don't need to have a boat to go there. Vice versa. Uh, in Coron, there are no almost no beaches. There is a, a tiny one which is just outside the city, but I wouldn't go to Coron for that beach. Uh, there's no way. I mean, it doesn't have really amazing places to go if the tours are closed. Uh, I went, for example, on one day on um, a waterfall, which is a Concepcion waterfall. It was nice in Coron. But again, it's not the main driving factor to go to Colón. Colón, you go there for the tools A, B, C, and D. Um, so I feel like El Nido has more options, especially for bad days where you can't go out with a boat, maybe because it's raining or maybe because uh, you have a little bit of a rough water.
It has to be said that um, uh, usually in Coron the water is a bit calmer because it's in a bit of an archipelago which is uh, uh, covered by all of the island. Meanwhile, when you go to El Nido, it's more open water. So if it's windy, you're going to suffer more of a rough water in El Nido than you're going to do in Coron. Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, I'm going down through the list. Food and restaurants. Um, food and restaurants definitely in Nido has so many options. It's not just a Nido town, but it's also Coron Coron, where uh, it's one restaurant after the other, it's one bar after the other. And some of the bars in Coron, for example, have an amazing view into the sunset, into the bay, or you go to Las Cabanas for sunset, again, amazing. Um, you, you can stay in El Nido, and you can experience uh, really good food. I mentioned before the Middle East place, I think it's called Happiness Bar Restaurant. Um, there is uh, just in front of Happiness Restaurant, there is also a Greek restaurant. Next to it, there is a Filipino restaurant with amazing seafood. Um, and then you walk along the main uh, beach street and just one after the other. Uh, amazing choices, uh, uh, more with a Western taste um, and less probably. It's a mix of Filipino and uh, Western taste. If you're looking for more authentic uh, experience, probably Coron is what you're looking for. If you want to have a mix of uh, any kind of food, any kind of choice, meet more uh, travelers around, probably El Nido works better. Bars and nightlife. Oh my, El Nido has plenty of bars and club. Uh, so, you know, it can be quite noisy actually. And in this respect, I probably don't suggest to uh, stay in a place close to the main street uh, in uh, El Nido. Um, actually, I uh, made a video about where to stay in Nido that you can see the link now right here and uh, it describes a little bit of the areas and places to stay and places probably to avoid if you don't want to have a noisy night. In Koron uh, there are a couple of nice Korean um, places to eat, a uh, couple of Filipinos uh, places to eat uh, which I really loved uh, especially for the Caesar um, uh, pork which was amazing and they are all on the main street. The problem with the main street in Koron is that it's quite noisy um, so you would like to avoid that but uh, most of the options for food are on the main street and there is a secondary street which is opening up with a, a few restaurants and cafes and uh, there is actually a good cafe uh, in Coron which I loved fantastic latte and very healthy food um, and that's what I described in my uh, video about Coron where to stay but I'm gonna put here have a link about also places to eat and, uh, and uh, to have breakfast. Next, accommodation. Uh, you have plenty of accommodation everywhere, both in Coron and El Nido. Uh, probably El Nido has more just because uh, there are more tourists there, and more travelers getting to El Nido. El Nido is more, you know, it's more famous than Coron, most definitely. And so you have more options, which means uh, you can go from a backpacker hostel solution uh, to a uh, luxurious stay, um, you know, with infinity pool into the bay. So you have everything you want. You can have also what is called flashback, uh, for example, the friends hostel. Uh, I would basically call him a flashback more than, than a backpack because it's a little bit more expensive but you get a pool on the rooftop and uh, you get a beautiful vibe there, uh, plenty of activities, great food all around. Um, so really but if you want to go super cheap in El Nido you can go super cheap as well, you can uh, share a bedroom with other people, um, you know you can do really whatever you want. In Coron probably you have less options uh, in saying that, um, you know, unless you go really in peak time, which is Christmas and New Year Eve and uh, the Filipino holidays, I, I guess you still have uh, good options. You still have good options around, you can go in, uh, stay in the town or you can stay outside of the town. Um, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't complain too much. Again, I'm going to put here on the top the links for where to stay in Cologne and where to stay in Nido. This is what I experienced and these are two videos that uh, we describe into a map where to look for places, where to avoid the noisy part of town, where to stay if you're on a couple trip or if you're on a trip with family. Next point, cost. 
Uh, so cost-wise, uh, El Nido is more expensive definitely than Colón. I would say probably one and a half time uh, than Colón. Uh, El Nido is probably the most expensive place in Palawan, uh, both for accommodation, uh, and food, uh, for tools and everything. You can see that El Nido is used to travelers. Uh, for example, they have uh, tools, A, B and C as usual, uh, but uh, when you go to an agency, they have exactly the same price than uh, the next agency next door. Uh, there is no competition, basically. Vice versa, in Colón, there is still a great competition. Um, so you can go and uh, um, you can um, book the same tour in an agency for 750 and another agency for 1,100. So there is a huge difference, almost 50%. Although you almost do the same, you probably do the same uh, uh, tour. Uh, there are aggregators at the P where the agencies is, are going to take you, that they assign you to a boat and you leave. So it doesn't really matter what agency, uh, you're going to basically take the same trip. Uh, it was really interesting actually because I uh, used three agencies during my trip. All of the agencies, at the end of the day, they took me to the same, what I call, aggregate of a person at the pier where it takes you and assigned to the boat. So it doesn't really matter where you go, you get the same service, which is, I must say, absolutely great service. Food was amazing at the beach in both uh, cases with a needle and a cordon as well. Okay, this pretty much wrap up uh, the differences between uh, Coron and El Nido. What works best? I just had a little summary with a couple of points. I guess if you are more into a local experience, Filipino experience, then Coron works best. And it's also more of a budget experience. Vice versa, if you want more option, meet other travelers and um, go around uh, at the beaches uh, where you can reach by van or by scooter, then El Nido is uh, uh, the place to be. Uh, if you're looking for the best uh, sunset, definitely El Nido in Las Cabanas. But my suggestion here is if you have you know, between five and seven and 10 days, even better, uh, just go to both places. You can travel between Coron and El Nido by boat, which is a five to six hours uh, trip, or you can take a direct, direct flight with a Swift uh, from Coron to El Nido, and that takes about 40 minutes. Um, that's it for this video and uh, remember to subscribe to the channel more trips and more uh, videos about philippines as well and uh, i see you around